So today I'm gonna be building a 12 volt um, 12 volt life before battery with these new cells from GVL. They've just been released. Uh, we've ordered uh, 20 other ones for an electric car and four of these for 12 volt battery. We didn't get any of the first shipment, but this is rather the second shipment they received. They are a lot energy dense and cheaper than their standard Winston cells. This guy is gonna have it in a plastic box in his boat. It's not gonna drive the boat. It's gonna have secondary stuff like uh, lights and charge his phone and stuff like that. He had very tight space, so we couldn't fit Winston in here in uh, his case, but we can fit this perfectly. I've made um, from a carton box. I always like to do that to make sure that it actually fits. Uh, we have to put it. Uh, we have to put the cells laying down. But as you can see, it's enough space on the sides. Not much. We have a little extra here if we want padding between the cells, and we have enough space over here for BMS, etc. So now we know that they fit. We're gonna build them uh, together. Uh, with these cells, we also ordered these plastic plates. You don't have to have them, you can have something else. Uh, because the cells underneath the heat shrink tube are uh, most likely aluminium casing with the same polarity as one of the terminals. Get these ones if you're unsure. They are perfectly fit for the cells. So you don't have to worry. And we have a lot of these, so for the electric car we will build our own. And um, one thing you must also order are the connections. They have special connections for this battery. Uh, so we ordered three of these. And the screws you get with the cell. I don't know if anyone made the videos of this yet. Uh, when we ordered the 20 ones for the car, we checked them um, and all of the cells had okay voltage except for one that had a little less. We asked GVL and they said it was no problem, you shouldn't need to worry. It was yeah, like a few millivolts. So we're gonna check these ones as well. Very good packaging. Uh, we have not capacity test we have not tested the capacity of these uh, we actually have one cell that we can do that with it's not heat shrink tubing uh, but rather some kind of like captain tape that has been cut and folded onto the cells uh, the really weird thing is there is an incandence or whatever it's called in english uh, it's an inverted bubble it's a little smaller over here so i'm guessing the cells only go to up here and then they have two big terminals or collectors because I don't understand. Here they are perfectly flat, but here they go in several millimeters. You can feel that it's like empty in here. I'm thinking terminals and some kind of vent up to like here. So it's really strange that they can have 100 amp hours and just use this part of the cell. Uh, I would really like to see how it's made inside, but I don't think we will see any images of that. One thing which is very strange is um, the screw holes don't match the screws. So they have inserted some kind of aluminium threads, which I find very, very strange. Of course, it would be better to have larger screws. And I don't know if these uh, inner threads can actually handle 100 amps or 200 or 300 amps. But for this guy, why, why is there some crap in there? Oh, no worries. Uh, but for this guy, he's gonna be pulling 7 amps. 7 amps. He, he wants this to last like a week or two. So it will be no problem. I managed to damage one of the threads on another one of those, these batteries. So I would really appreciate if GVL maybe would send extra threads. Uh, or maybe it's just me who's clumsy and don't know how to use it. So let's twist two of the cells around. Uh, I don't even know if the GoPro recorded that, uh, but let's continue anyway. Wait.
know I should have had a cameraman or something. But who wants to sit here for an hour watching me make batteries? Well, you obviously, but 